Welcome to the spaceship. This virtual venue overlooking planet Earth and the International Space Station allows Festival Gore's digital avatars to attend performances, watch movies, participate in presentations, and mingle all that remotely through a computer or a virtual reality headset. Sherry Frillo, curator of the New Frontier exhibition, says the mission this year was to bring the Sundance community together in the metaverse, a computer-generated environment where users can interact. You go to the Space Garden, which is where you find the portal to the cinema house. You are inside of an art house theater, fashion like the Egyptian. The Egyptian is the festival's iconic movie theater on Park City, Utah's Main Street. Its digital equivalent can hold 100 digital avatars. And you're sitting and you're with people and you can talk and, and the presentation will start. Uh, mostly we're in there with artists. Maybe it's the day that cosmogony is, uh, uh, is happening. Once a performance or a film ends, visitors can head to the gallery where they can view exhibits. Some can be experienced best with virtual reality headsets. One of these projects is called Gondwana. It is a 24-hour simulation of the rainforest Dane tree in Australia. And, it's, and it's, it's powered by dynamic climate change data. And the longer you're in there, every 12 minutes is like a year, uh, you start to see the rainforest change. And depending on how many people are in there, will determine how it changes. And you can go in and out of it throughout the day, um, the 24-hour cycle, and see it uh, and, and, and witness it where it started and where it might end. At the Spaceship's film party, visitors and artists meet, exchange ideas, and talk about films and projects. This digital platform allows people to not only watch, but also interact, Frilo says an activity made less frequent due to the pandemic and video streaming. It is important to have, you know, our technology support what is human and how we relate to one another and how we can transcend uh, physical boundaries to have access to what makes us people and what makes us um, thrive in a you know, that, that collective spirit. Frillo says nothing can replace shared experiencing of art in a physical space. Um, Not if everybody in the audience uh, jumps up and uh, um, press your space bar to say hi. But she says these new technologies can serve culture by making storytelling accessible and connecting people around the world. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington. Ha, ha, ha.